What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back another video on the channel, and today we went to Chili's. We've been doing all of these sit-down franchise restaurants, kind of spinning back to them because a lot of people wanted to know if they had good food or not. So I try to get the most popular items on the menus, as well as we're going to do a burger from each place, so that is what is on the agenda today. Chili's I've had maybe once or twice in probably the last six or seven years. These are places that I'm not really familiar with these days, so I'm going off of their recommendations and their website, what is the most recommended stuff. So that is what's on the agenda. Like I said, drop a thumbs up, subscribe, all of that nice and cringy YouTube stuff. So let's go through what we have today. The number one most ordered item on the Chili's menu, believe it or not, is this Cajun chicken pasta. Um, I've never had it before, so I'm interested to see what that is like. I also got the smoke ultimate smokehouse combo, not just the regular. There's two different ones. So I got the chipotle honey chicken crispers. That's what everybody said I had to get, as well as the brisket quesadillas and then it comes with uh two sides so i got the curly fries and apparently this is new but they have mac and cheese you guys know i'm pretty i'm pretty strict on mac and cheese but uh i'm not even gonna open that up because it doesn't look right but <laughs> you'll see when we get there let me spin back for a second they also had jalapeno cheddar smoked sausage on here as well it's hidden under there i forgot that it was there the most popular burger ordered on their menu I was surprised a lot of people don't like mushrooms but it was their mushroom and swiss burger so that is what i got with a side of Mexican rice. That's apparently their other most popular other than the fries side dish. And it also comes with, I got two orders here of their garlic toast. So let's start off with this ultimate smokehouse combo. I'm gonna start off with everybody's, this is more you guys telling me this is the best thing on the menu. So these are the Chipotle honey crispers. It has a Chipotle honey sauce. Doesn't seem like they used a ton of it on there, but it is on there. So let's see what this is like. I'm gonna try to get the sauce on here, so I'm gonna take this piece off. Okay, let's go. I can see where you're going with it, for sure. Also, quick disclaimer. A lot of people will comment and say it's better fresh. I just wanna say this again. I do understand that. But with that being said, Every restaurant that I go to is less than four miles away from my house. So I'm not driving far. Five to ten minutes tops whenever I'm going to these places. It doesn't take long for me to get home and get everything set up. So I do want to say that it's not like I live in an area where everything is super spread out and you're driving 30, 45 minutes to get to this stuff. That isn't the case. So this stuff is still relatively fresh and it's still it's not piping hot, but it's still hot. People think I'm eating food that's ice cold and that is not the truth at all. I just did want to say that. Just to give you a little bit of a picture. I feel like with these places, I have to lower my expectations. This isn't going to reinvent the wheel at any time, but it is pretty good. If I was to go to Chili's and I wanted to order something, that would definitely be something that I would get. I think this was supposed to come with a side of ranch. I should have checked the bag. It didn't have it in there. The chipotle honey sauce more kind of comes across as a honey barbecue sauce if you ask me but it's not bad it's just not something that i would go crazy over if i was sitting down with a bunch of friends and i wanted to get this as an appetizer for sure i would still eat it but it's not like elite i would just say that it's good five and a half out of ten now let's go in for these brisket quesadillas i didn't even know they had brisket but i can't really open these because it's really stuck together with the cheese I'm surprised that they didn't. I feel like they're supposed to give me dipping sauces. I know y'all gonna tell me that it works too. They didn't. So let's just try it. Okay. I'm there is such a minimal amount of brisket in this one. I'm just gonna open a full one. I, I This is gonna be really hard to open, but I gotta do it. Not really a lot of brisket in here, to be honest. There's like the, the most minimal, there's a piece right there, but there's not a lot in here at all. There's not enough brisket for me to even really taste it. I do get a bit of that smokiness and barbecue sauce, but this really just tastes like a barbecue cheese quesadilla. Nice little crispy edges on the outside, so that's a plus. But other than that, Please don't get mad. <laughs> it's kind of mid though. Four out of ten. Let's get one of these 
curly fries. I've had these because I've eaten at It's Just Wings a couple of times, and I know these are the same curly fries. I love a good curly fry. Curly fries, to me, are just well-seasoned all the time. These I'll rock with all day. Man, I wish I had some ranch. But even with that, as far as a chain fry, these are some of my favorites. They remind me of the Arby's curly fries, which I really do enjoy. Eight and a half out of ten for those. And then, the jalapeno smoked cheddar sausage. Tastes very Hillshire Farms. I happen to like Hillshire Farms. Nice little spice from the jalapeno though. Good little snap. And these are definitely smoked more than when you just get like a Hillfire, Hillfire, a Hillshire Farms sausage. I ain't editing that. Honestly, this is pretty good. Give me a little mustard. I can rock with that. Overall, this sausage, I give it seven and a half out of 10. It's good. The smokehouse combo was the most expensive thing I got. It was $23. If I wasn't doing a video, I wouldn't pay $23 for that though. If I was rating the entire smokehouse combo, I would give it five and a half out of 10 too. It's good, but again, for what you pay, I just feel like you can get better, even at a chain restaurant. But I'd stick to the curly fries for sure. I switched those, but I forgot to get the mac and cheese out. This is the new item from them. Velveeta did it better. Two out of ten. The most popular item on the Chili's menu was the Cajun chicken pasta. And even when I checked on the internet, a lot of people went crazy for this Cajun chicken pasta. It comes with tomatoes, some green onions, looks like some Cajun seasoning on here, and what strongly resembles Alfredo. And this is just me being honest about what I'm seeing. The chicken resembles that packaged chicken that you can get in the store in the deli section. So here we go. Give me another one. There's definitely cheese within the Alfredo. I want to get like tomatoes and all like the, the chicken in here as well. No, not that big ass piece of chicken. Hey, no. Thank you. you make me look bad. very average in my opinion i like the fact that it has like a cheesy taste with the alfredo so it almost tastes to me like somebody made this at home using a bunch of canned and boxed ingredients and then kind of seasoned it up a little bit to make it like decent we drop the noodle again i used to get this kind of chicken they were called like cold cuts or or shortcuts or something like that and I think Purdue made them but this looks exactly like the chicken that I used to eat in college when I used to do that that they put a little bit of Cajun season on it even has that taste I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it is the problem when you get this packaged chicken like this is that it's extremely salty because they have to preserve it so you're gonna have a little bit more of a salty taste to it that kind of resembles like like lunch meat when you get the lunch meat or the cold cuts as we call it from that same section it has that same kind of aftertaste which really just overpowers everything else the alfredo sauce i just 
I know everything from this place. These places are, it's not really scratch made when you're dealing with like a Chili's. But it's almost like I can taste what brand that is. Ragu. Ragu Alfredo sauce. It tastes just like it. And they add a little cheese into it to, to kind of like doctor it up. You know? It's almost like a semi-homemade kind of meal. And again, it's more or less like for what you pay for it. I just don't really like get down with it. So, I wouldn't order that again. I, I, I guess it might be better if you're sitting in a restaurant with your friends. Maybe you had a couple of drinks or something like that. But I, I would give this a four and a half out of ten. Oh, I don't need the Texas Toast. I know what brand this is, too. Super Packers. All right. Let's get a little piece of this. Let's just take one bite. It's just, it's just I'm telling you, it's the same brand. <laughs> it's the same brand. I know the brand. It's that yellow box. I used to like that yellow box, though. When you get that, and you do a little of that, that make you feel good. I won't lie about that. What it's coming down to for me is the same exact issue of why I stopped going to restaurants that are the sit-down franchises like this. For what you pay and what you actually get is my issue. And especially when you're at a restaurant and you're sitting down, you have to factor in the fact that there's a server bringing it to you. So this meal, again, cost $18. If I went sat down in a restaurant, that means plus the tip, I'm probably paying like $25, you get a drink, you're at $30, and it's just not a $30 meal. I don't know where you live, but if you're around places that aren't really like franchises, you can get something much better for this, probably cost you less as well. And that's where my issue kind of lies with it. But it's not that it's nasty. It just, for what I'm paying, that price to performance ratio, it just doesn't have it, in my opinion. But we did get a burger. And usually when I go to these places, the burgers are like the best thing. So I'm going to try this burger and see what's up. Okay. Nice big booty burger. We like that. I got the bacon swiss burger comes with mayo there's a tomato on the bottom i did see that over there also mustard there's mustard on here mustard has become like everything i'm getting has mustard on it and this patty is relatively large got the sauteed mushrooms and a nice thick slice of swiss cheese on a big bun these burgers usually for me hit so let's see tomato skin I'll wipe my mouth. The burger's juicy. Not half bad. Even the patty is seasoned. It's not crazy seasoned. Salt and pepper. But a lot of places didn't even do that. It is a pretty big patty. So I feel like I got my money's worth on that. Personally, I like mushrooms. And I like Swiss cheese. Mushroom Swiss is a great combo. And it has a lot of mushrooms on here. Pretty thick slice of Swiss cheese. A little bit of acid from that tomato. Mayo on a burger for me is underrated. Mustard on a burger for me is underrated. Not particularly this one though. It would work better with a different kind of burger, like a classic or like a bacon cheeseburger. The bun comes off a little soggy, but because the beef is so juicy, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. And it has a nice charred taste on the burger. That's easily the best thing that I've had today. And what I've been kind of saying this entire time is I think the burgers are the best way to go. Up against the other burgers, I've had Red Robin, I've had Applebee's, and I've had Grand Lux. That's way better than Grand Lux. I liked Applebee's, believe it or not, because of that like quesadilla burger kind of vibe. But the burger patty on this is only second to Red Robin. So you can just more what you want as far as ingredients go. Red Robin is a burger place, so it's going to have a little bit better burgers than I expect that. But as far as the other chain restaurants, that's the second one, the best one that I've had. On that chain restaurant scale alone, I would give that about an 8 out of 10. It's easily the best thing I've had. If I was going to Chili's, I would 100% just order that burger with the curly fries, appetizer, chipotle honey crispers, and, and keep it moving from there. Now, we do have some Mexican rice here. I'm laughing because it looks like rice aroni. That's rice for running, bro. Stop lying to me. That's rice for running. I don't know what part of Mexico that comes from. I have a pretty decent amount of Mexican people I grew up with and know. They ain't served that. I know rice for running when I have it. That is definitely rice for running. But I 
paid like $4 for it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. $4.49 to be exact. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know little dollar packs of the rice sides that you could get? The Lipton joints. I used to eat those in college. I would eat that before that. Yeah. One out of ten. Overall, is Chili's a W? Um, kinda. There's some decent things on the menu. I think places like this I wouldn't get too, like, adventurous with. If I'm going to a sit-down franchise place, especially a Chili's, I would kind of stick to the basics and you can get yourself a decent meal. Burger price was about $15, so that's not necessarily bad. That's pretty much what you get at most places with the side. I do like the Chipotle crispers as well. I think those kind of bang. So that plus the burgers, like I said, give me the curly fries, and you've got at least I can sit down and get it. But again, price to performance ratio was kind of off for this one. As far as all of the restaurants I've done so far, I've been, let's rank them. So far, first I have Red Robin. Two, I actually have, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but from what the meals I got, Applebee's. Three, I have Chili's. And four, I have Grand Lux Cafe. I just didn't really like their burger at all. And the only thing that really worked there was Asian nachos. This had two things that were good. And the other places had three or more, except for the Grand Lux, which only had one. So that's why I'm putting them where I'm putting them. But we're going to continue to do the rest. There are a lot more of these franchise sit-down restaurants that I have to get to. So we will. Let me know what else you want to see as far as those franchise places. And you guys like this kind of stuff because we have a like-minded thing. It's not just in New Jersey, so you can get it pretty much anywhere, especially if you're in the U.S. But that is going to be the end of the video. I'm going to make some friends and, and, and give some nice food away. And I hope that they enjoy it. But we'll be back tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.